Well, I grew up standing right next to me. I'm honored to have you all with me. Ben, I've only known you. I don't want to say how long, but it's too long. <laughs> you have done some job. The whole, it's, I'm very proud to be with the five gentlemen up here. Very special. And we have a lot of special ladies and gentlemen in the audience and are my friends and they have been for a long time. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. I'm thrilled to be here tonight with Crooked Joe Biden's absolutely worst nightmare. <laughs> Hundreds of proud black conservatives. <laughs> Together we're part of the greatest political movement in the history of our country. It is the greatest movement, I think, without question, in the history of our country. And it's uh, right. done great things, and then we had a little interruption. But uh, the interruption is not going to last much longer. And we're going to have a tremendous victory. It's going to be even, I believe, greater and probably more important even than in 2016. Absolutely. Yeah. Remember, remember Howard Cosell? I just tell it like it is. And then we'll get it and then years later, in an act of stolen valor, Crooked Joe had the nerve to falsely portray himself as a hero of the civil rights movement, which was such, which was so false. And then he said that if African Americans didn't vote for him, you ain't black. That, 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 that was the so insignificant. But he did say that. A lot of people were surprised. He did say that. But that one's so recent, I didn't even want to put it in. We had to go back to the real stuff. But he did say that. I was a little surprised to see it. I'm sure you were too. Unlike racist Joe Biden, I've spent my entire life working hand in hand with black Americans who do God, their will, invest in our community, and extend opportunity and freedom for citizens of every race, religion, color, and creed. And we have, I built a lot of buildings and I want to tell you, a black worker is a great worker. You've done an incredible job. They've done an incredible job. Really talented, great people. And that goes for others too. Hispanic is incredible. You know, the Hispanic numbers are, and you know, they're through the roof. In Miami, we're leading in Florida with Hispanic. Along the Texas, they call it the, uh, the corridor, but they, it's, it's the line going between Mexico and Texas for a long way, we won every single community along the, uh, they go the special line. We won every single community, and mostly, I think it's 88% Hispanic. It was a fantastic thing. Something that I'm so proud of, and it is really changing the Republican Party. The Republican Party's been a much bigger party. It's a much bigger, more inclusive party, and that's a fantastic thing. Yeah, no, it's, it's just, it's a, and, uh, I'm very proud of it. Here's my promise to you as your president, I will go to work for you every single day. I will not quit until the American dream is alive and thriving for you and for every citizen. And, and we put America first. You don't mind that. We put America first. Everywhere Joe Biden puts our citizens last, I will put you first. You will be first, America will be first, and we're going to do things that nobody ever thought possible. Our country right now is being destroyed by people coming in that nobody has any idea where they come from. Think of it. They're coming in from prisons and jails. They're coming in from mental institutions and insane asylum. That's a mental institution on steroids, okay? They're coming in at a level that nobody's ever seen before. These guys have... It's the biggest thing. It's the, it's the biggest... So, when I ran in 2016, it was such a big thing, the border. That was peanuts compared to what we're talking about. And I tell the story, I did such a good job on the border. Remember, they're coming in, they're racist, they're this, they're that. Uh, and they said, rapists, you know, rape, I called them everything. It's peanuts compared to what this turned out to be. And that was less, those words were very inflammatory at the time. About three months later, they realized that the words were correct, except they weren't strong enough. It was actually the opposite. But we took this and we, we did a job with it. And then they couldn't, they wouldn't talk about it anymore. They didn't want to talk about it. But we, we're talking about it now because this makes what happened in 2016 
it just pales by comparison. There's never been anything like this. This is an invasion of the United States of America. And they're taking your job, and they're taking Hispanic jobs, and they're taking union jobs. How about the unions? The unions that work long and hard to get their wages up, and they have wages now, and people are going to be working for 15% and 20% of what people are getting now. And we don't want that. We don't want that. In some ways, it's good for an employer, but it's really bad for our people, and it's very unfair for our people. And we don't want that. We want people to come into our country, but we want them to come in legally through our process. And it's true, a lot of unions are looking at this saying, what are we going to do? Because, you know, you're driving a truck, and they do a great job, but you're driving a truck, and somebody comes along and he's willing to do it for a tiny fraction of the cost. And those people are out of jobs. The unions are going to be in big trouble. And Biden's the one that's allowing you in. You know, he gave two and a half million work permits this year to people that are illegal immigrants. Two and a half million work permits. And those are, and those are people. And the bigger problem is, and you know, at the... Uh, at Georgia, in Georgia, the University of Georgia, they had a horrible killing. I said there's a new category of crime. It's called migrant crime. Yes. It's coming in at a level that nobody's ever seen before, and it's vicious. I call it Biden migrant crime, but it doesn't sound as good. No, <laughs> it doesn't. It's wrong. It's migrant crime, but just remember, he's the one that allowed this to happen by stupidity. Well, Biden wants to raise your taxes by $6 trillion, I will make the Trump tax cuts the largest tax cut in history. We'll make it permanent and give you the new economic boom. It's going to be an economic boom. When I was president, we slashed taxes for working families. We doubled the child tax credit, which frankly wasn't a Republican thing to do, but I said we have to do it. I do things that aren't necessarily Republican, you know. I do what's right, and I do things based on common sense. Somebody said, you're a conservative. I said, no, I'm, I'm really a person of great common sense. We need borders, we need a strong military, we need good education, we need low interest rates, we want to be able to buy a house. It's really based more on common sense, I think, than anything else. Who could allow what's happening? This is an invasion. Have you seen New York where hundreds of thousands of people are living on the streets, are taking parks that the kids can no longer play. They're going into schools and taking schools. They don't speak a word of English and they're sitting down in classrooms. Nobody knows what to do. It's a disaster that's happening and it's happening all over the country as we supported moms and dads by dramatically expanding education savings accounts. I don't know if you've taken advantage of it, but it's a phenomenal thing. Under my leadership, the Republican Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, healthy American families. And it's 